The Bible says Hebrew chapter 12 or 13 verse 4 say, Marriage is honorable and the bed is undefiled. But a whole among us an adulterer, God will judge. What happened when you married for the wrong reasons? What are wrong reasons? Money or sex? Ten reasons. Number one, you get divorced quickly. Number two, you let those demons play with your subconscious. Number three, you be dead slowly but surely. Number four, you be done before you say I do. Number five, you be dead in and confused. Ten reason what happened when you marry for the wrong reasons, money or sex. Now this is ten D's. Hey, glory to God. Number five, you be dead and confused. Number six, you be deaf to true reason to be married. Number seven, you be dumb because you ignore the real reason for marriage. What is the real reason? Marriage is a ministry. If you are not marrying for love, don't get married. You can't get married for, for loneliness. You can't get married for lust. You can't get married for family. It's either love or it's no deal. Number eight, you 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 will continue dealing with demonic forces if it's not about love. I'm talking about I'm talking about what happened when you are married, when you walk down the aisle and say you do, and deep down you are you are lying to God, you're lying to your family. And you're lying to all the people that are watching this ceremony. You are lying. Because it's not about love. It's about money. And it's about sex. Come on. Why? The divorce rate among Christians. Because Christians should know better. The hardness of your heart. You put away your spouse. It wasn't because of love. Love believe all things. Hope all things. Endure things. Love and never fail. Lust fail, sex fail, material thing fail. Hallelujah. And number nine, you be eventually destroying your family and the role of life. You be example of different reason to be married except love. Ten reasons why you be 